I remain in long trades on Bitcoin. I still remain patient for my higher targets to be hit. In this video, I'll be telling you all about those targets and how to be looking for the next trading setup opportunity that will be presented to us. I'm gonna keep this video actually short, simple, and sweet, just so I can pass on the need to know information to you, get you ready for these setups, and uh, you know, get us back to what we wanna do the most in quickest and efficient time possible, and that is, of course, trading the charts and making some nice profits. So I'm gonna run this video in a quick two minute recap from the harmonic long trade setup from the last video. Then we're gonna move on to current price action, actually reviewing this and explaining why I'm looking for higher price targets and exactly what they are. So yeah, let's kick this one off with a bang and start reviewing that harmonic. And this was obviously our long trade setup. First of all, given in the Champions live stream back on the 25th of June, uh, where I was looking for the long trade setup off a potential SFP of these lows onto the daily. As price came along, two days later, we were given the really nice opportunity of an SFP of the previous low onto the daily. And what happened next? We got the swing failure pattern of that previous low onto the daily. And of course, the long trade setup activated, actually bringing us up very nicely in price, hitting a take profit one. At that point, stop losses moved to entry. The trade then is guaranteed to win whatever happens next. I did personally not short this high. Why did we reject here? We've done an SFP of these previous two highs. Okay, that is a valid, of course, short trade setup, but I did not take this. What happened next was we actually did get a drop in price. Okay, so I missed this short trade setup, which is for me acceptable. The main thing I was focused on was my long. That hit take profit one. I can't control what happens next. I didn't take that short. We did get a drop. I did get stopped out of that short. But this is the beauty also of having several top quality, you know, world-class traders. I was not taking that short, but for example, Severum and Igor did take those shorts. Severum absolutely nailing the call on that short trade after the swing failure pattern of those two previous highs, by the way. And, uh, you know, what led next was a large drop in price. But really simply, it's like I was telling my team, you know, remain calm, remain level headed. This is a time of opportunity not to be scared, not to be fearful. Yes, we had just got stopped out of that previous long after hitting take profit one, but we're just given a opportunity straight after. And it's simply a swing failure pattern of the overall range low. Actually, back in my champions live stream, this was not a setup that I was aware of. If we didn't get that harmonic, of you know, see that played out in the end but um you know the the next trade setup was a swing fire pattern of the range low and recently we got a swing fire pattern of the range low so when you remain calm patient collected you know you see the trade setup you can take it that does activate a long trade and it really still brings us up to where we are right now so after that swing fire pattern of the range low which you can see here we are now trading back up towards the range high once more just as we took out these previous two highs for an SFP here, we have now taken out that high for an SFP here. <laughs> Swing failure patterns all over the board. But again, just as I didn't trade this short, I've also not traded the short here. I actually remain patient looking for the overall range high. Okay, from here, I can look for my swing failure pattern or failed auction. And if we do not get that, then I will continue looking for my higher price targets. Okay, we got the daily, and then we're moving on to 32,500. Such a absolute key zone of the chart. There's a lot to talk about on that level, <laughs> that zone, uh, because that would be the biggest breakout we've seen in actually this year on Bitcoin. So 32,500, keep that in mind. Okay, if we get up there, if we break out above that, you know, we, nothing's stopping us towards the $40,000 train, right? Uh, but as it stands, as always, level to level environment, we got the potential SFP above us here. And if we don't get that, we got this minor daily in the way before we hit that really key zone of 30. 32,500, okay? Um, below us, we don't have too much to go off of here. We have the nice uh, daily NPOC here, so 50 and one ticks, okay? Bringing us down to the lower area of 30,400, okay? So that's obviously where we got a weekly NPOC. So we got a little bit of here of a zone below us, but it's like I was telling my team in the daily morning live stream update that I done this morning for the champions. In the live stream update that I've done today for the champions, I was explaining why, personally. Uh, I'm not that interested in the intraday trades from this range. I have got much prefer the outer boundaries. But for the scope traders and the day traders, this is a level, of course, to be aware of. Nevertheless, we can come down and look for the liquidity grab off of the NPOC for a bit of a reaction. This is a reactionary trade, as always. Bigger trades remain outer boundaries, and that's what I'm personally waiting for. That is why I'm remaining patient. Again, I want to end by telling you this really important tip. 
Actually, I'm going to do two quick announcements. I'll keep that on the tip of my tongue. Uh, first announcement, really simply, is that we've managed to secure a new deal for Bybit customers, and that is 20% off fees for 30 days um, with you signing up for a new account. Okay, of course, KYC is required on Bybit. And if you cannot KYC, of course, you've got the options of um, being X. You've got an option of uh, Apex. You've even got the option of getting a uh, residency ID, which is something I can talk about in another video, maybe. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, this is a new fee offer that we've secured if you're interested. And the second and final announcement is a reminder that we've got our public free uh, mailing lists. So I'll leave the um, link to our mailing list down in the description below. So if you want to sign up for that, make sure you confirm your subscription after signing up via the link where you can join the Chart Champions mailing list. We'll be, you know, telling you about some charts and all that good stuff. Okay, so as I was saying, the final tip of the tongue, the final tip that I will give is it all requires patience. Like right now, could you take a short trade setup off of the previous SFP? The answer is yes, you absolutely could. And for the scope of day traders, absolutely valid trade. More taking this as a swing trader's perspective. So for me, just as I didn't take this short, it did play out, of course, but it just ended in the outer boundary swing fire pattern of the low. So I'm more interested in the long than I am in internal short, just as I'm more interested in the higher short than I am in internal short trade here. So for me, I'm looking for the outer boundaries and the tip would be remain patient, make the plan. So just as it happened on the Champions live stream, right? We made the plan. We knew exactly where we were looking for. We knew the exact reasons why. If price had increased here without us, we would have missed that long trade. It's as simple as that. We make a plan, okay? We then see more data. So a few days later, we've got more data. We've now got the potential SFP. We've now got the daily, we've got the harmonic. You know, with more time and data, we get stronger probabilities. And then when those probabilities come together, the patience of the level you're waiting for is hit. It's when it's time to execute, it's when it's time to take the trade. And then, you know, the final tip would be when it comes to that take profit one, hit take profit one. Don't get greedy and not take profits because then you could have been stopped out for a loss if you became greedy. And of course, that's the worst thing to do as a trader. Get the reaction, take the trade, lock and take profit one. Then if you get stopped out, it's still a win, and you look towards the next trade setup, which was, of course, just a swing fire pan of range low. So, yeah, final words, I am remaining long, looking for the outer boundary of the range, and if we break through that in a level-to-level -level environment, daily to 32k. If we break down, we know our sub-levels below us, down to the biggest support of $27,000. If you want to see more from me, if you want these updates live in the time before anybody else, then that's what you can get over at Chart Champions via the Champions package. It's where you get the website, it's where you'll get our trading updates, you'll get our live streams, you'll get the <laughs> whole course of educational content, biggest in crypto, and of course, the inbuilt journal, the deals, the vaults, the cheat sheets, the templates, all the stuff you need to crush it in trading right now. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, we'll see if I'm right with higher prices to come. Thank you ever so much. Thank you and goodbye.